Our first case of, of interest is Jamie Snow. He was arrested in 1999 for a cold case murder that happened in 1991. Not one shred of physical evidence tested at the time linked Mr. Snow to the crime. This case is riddled with inconsistent police reports and incredible testimony. Jason Chambers met with supporters about Jamie, Jamie Snow's case in 2012. After that meeting, he is quoted as saying that we must have new evidence to convince him to reopen that case. New evidence includes mug shots. These mug shots were picked out by star witness Danny Martinez the night of the crime. He said, it's between these two. We do not know how these men were cleared. We do not know who the person on the left is. The person on the right is currently in prison. We also have a police report from 1994 in which Martinez told police Jamie Snow was not the person he saw. This is new evidence. We have a police report from the first officer on the scene completely discrediting Danny Martinez's version of events. We have a lab report stating that there were 21 latent fingerprints discovered. Only seven or nine were revealed at trial. We have a lab report stating that blood evidence to be tested was missing. However, they proceeded with that testing. It matched the victims. We have 17 plus affidavits from state witnesses either recanting or changing their testimony. We have three affidavits from jailhouse informants stating, stating they lied on the stand either to get deals or because of police pressure. We have one affidavit from an eyewitness who recanted his identification of Jamie. Police reports revealing that two jailhouse informants failed polygraphs. Mr. Chambers, how much new evidence do you need to question this conviction? The DNA testing on bullets could show who loaded the weapon that killed the victim. And forensics examination of the clothing could produce information on who had contact with the victim shortly before his death. The state has provided no evidence that several items, fingerprints, bullets recovered from the victim and the victim's clothing have been examined. This information was deemed relevant at the time the police tested, collected it from the crime scene. Yet now it's deemed irrelevant. In 2013, Mr. Chambers said the following in reference to Snow's DNA motions and successive post-conviction petition outlining new evidence. A jury found Jamie Snow guilty after hearing evidence at a trial presided over by a judge. While I am always open to the prospect of new evidence which might prove that someone is innocent, that is entirely different than someone attempting to get a second bite at their case with evidence that not, does not go toward the actual innocence of the defendant. The exoneration project is willing to pay for all the testing. So what do you have to lose? There is no cost to McLean County taxpayers for this testing. This case cries out for physical corroboration of incredible testimony from the state witnesses as well as the SAO with the documented history of misconduct. Honoring FOIA requests and granting discovery motions has also been a huge issue in this case. Mr. Chambers, are you willing to honor the discovery motions that have been before the court for years? Will you tell us what happened to the $7,500 reward money that has been referenced in numerous pantograph articles over the span of a decade? It's also been referenced in flyers asking for information about the case and mentioned in nearly all of the jailhouse informant interviews. Why don't you, Mr. Chambers, want to know what happened to the reward money? Is it okay for reward money to just disappear in thin air? This is highly suspect, highly suspect, considering it has already been proven by higher courts that the lead detective in this case, Dan Katz, gave a witness financial assistance as well as a get out of jail free card prior to him testifying against Eric Drew in his case. Jason Chambers stated in email correspondence to event organizers 
if there is a specific request and there is material available to test, I would be willing to evaluate that. The DNA motions are before the court. Those gathering this Friday in McLean County are hopeful that Mr. Chambers will honor his statement. Mr. Chambers, we beg you to reopen this investigation. Yes. Test yes. all available physical evidence and pursue justice vigorously for all the victims involved in this tragic injustice. Yes. 